So I'm out here with the new babies and this little guy who keeps falling behind. I'm gonna put him down to show you what he does. He's a whole lot weaker than the rest. He can't sort of move the same way. Most days on the farm, you have to expect the unexpected. And with having so many animals, it's a constant check on and check in. And sometimes it doesn't work out. I've learned a lot over the years and Lester has taught me astronomical things about animals, about farm life, about just life. But today what happened? pretty unbelievable. Watch this. So I like that he's making noise and that he is doing that, but he's pretty weak compared to everyone else in reality. Everybody else is doing really well, but this little guy is pretty weak. He can't stand up on his own right now. You can see how he's shaking. I can tell he's cold, but um, we keep a super close eye on this little guy. More girl, little girl. Sorry, I know they're all girls. <laughs> but I just don't, I don't want to lose her. And it's sad to me. You made this journey all the way here. You made it all the way here with all your friends. We got to do stuff to save you. All right. Yeah, he's weak. She's super weak. She's not standing up like the rest of them do. The rest of them will jump out of my hand right away. And this one, not so much. Oh, it's hard. It's really hard on them to get all the way here. Uh oh, I left the door open. Hank, be sweet to them. He's like, I'm just keeping them in. My job is to keep them in. You don't wanna eat that, Hank, trust me. Trust me, trust me. So these babies are a day old and flying wherever they came from across the country, I'm guessing is really hard on them, like extremely traumatic. And the strong survive and that's sad and awful, but it's true. And this little girl is really having a hard time. I, uh, most of the time, every time that I have gotten chicks of any kind, ducks or chickens or geese, someone has not made it. At least one has not made it. Now, she's shivering whenever she's down that low. So, somebody came to see her, so I thought it would be helpful if that was happening. I'm going to pick her back up and bring her a little bit closer to the lamp and see if we can get any, any more warmth on her body her blood temperature up a little bit her body temperature up a little bit you know <clears throat> I don't know the exact temp that that their body temperatures need to be but I do know that this lamp needs to be about 95 degrees for them this time of year when it's I mean it's still it's still in the 50s today here for some reason it was a little cooler than normal so between the traumatic flight here and they left yesterday and got here today, but they didn't get here today until like two o'clock. So I predict they left yesterday morning very, very early to fly here. And that's a very long time. It is, baby, it's a long time. You had a very rough day. You did. Now she is standing up a little bit more than when I first picked her up, so that's good news. I'm gonna see if she needs another drink of water. Come over here, sweet girl. Okay, that was good. Let's do that one more time. So ducks, they don't eat without water. They need water to swallow their food and to clean out their nostrils. And their nostrils are on top of their beaks. Uh, you can't see it very well. Their nostrils are on top of their beaks. And in order for those to stay clean, in order for those to, see there? In order for those to stay clean, they have to have water to rinse them out. It's kind of like rinsing out 
people that do sinus washes, I guess, <laughs> it's very similar. They have to have that area clean so that they can breathe through those holes. And if they don't, mold and bacteria can get caught in there and then it's so close to their brain that they get an infection and it's bad. It's really bad. But the heat is really important for them at this age because they don't have feathers to insulate them. This is all fur or down, basically. I think it's called down, flock, flock. I don't know. <laughs> all I know is it's fuzz right now and until they get their feathers, they don't have the same capabilities as adult ducks. Adult ducks are insulated and they have oils that keep the, the moisture out basically. And right now they don't. So if this little girl got cold in her flight and got moist at all, like they put a gel pack in that box. She got doused in any of that or she didn't get enough to drink before she left or even if she was just a weak baby in the beginning. It's hard, it's really hard. It takes them a long time to recover. I don't wanna get her too warm, but I will tell you that she perked up a little bit there. Let's try again. There's not a lot that I've read about things other than fluids, food, and heat for them. Obviously medicines later, but a day old chick, there's no, there's no medicine that I can give her to keep her alive. It's just a lot of the right balance of water, food, whenever she's warm enough to eat and digest it, and more water, basically. So, I love that she has like winged eyeliner on her eyes. I know that's not really what it is, but it sure does look like it. It kind of looks like smudged eyeliner, to be honest. It looks like a first attempt at eyeliner. She's shaking less, so that's good news. And she's making noise, which is better. When I first came out here, I saw her little head laying down in the hay and she kind of was limp whenever I picked her up. Let's see, oh, look at this, look, look. Oh my goodness, she wants to jump. Okay, so let's see how this goes. She's shaking, she's scared now too, on top of everything else. Oh my gosh, guys, look. Look at that change. She's standing up and not falling over now. You guys saw it, I didn't cut the camera. That's a big deal, but she is really cold. She's shaking now, I got her down further again. I'm gonna put her back up here. And get her warmed up a little bit more and then I'm gonna <laughs> I sadly think I'm gonna have to take her in the house with me and like put her in my pocket for right now my body temperature will keep her up I just <laughs> that will be so funny that I'm carrying around a duck in my pocket though but it is this is all about her body temperature if she gets too cold she will die just like the rest of them but they're moving around quite a bit to keep everything uh, up on their end. And not all of them need the same amount. I mean, some of these guys are bigger. She definitely, the one in my hand is definitely the tiniest one. You can see that the geese are about twice the size of the other baby ducks here. But we need to keep this little girl as warm as possible so she keeps perking up. Yes, baby, I see you listening to me. I talked about your pretty eyeliner. It's not that pretty. And I talked about how you started to walk a little bit instead of falling over. That's good news too. Oh, look at this. All right, let's see if she does it now. I am impressed. You need another drink, baby? Look, all these babies are over here having even more water. That will be gone in like an hour. Yeah gonna be fun. Look at, look at, look at. She just walked from over here to my leg. Hi, baby. Look, that's a big change, huge change. Oh my goodness. That's a big deal. She's cold again though. Oh no, she's gonna have to come with me. All right, come on. We gotta go do a Zoom call. So I received these text messages throughout the day about this little duck and Jamie and her rescue. And uh, I come home and sure enough, here she sits with a little duck right there. Oh, sorry. That's why she's not talking.
they came to us probably.